YouTube, it's your guy, not the average trucker, coming to you on a rainy Sunday, football Sunday, Hurricane Florence Sunday. As you can see, I'm in the office, man, trying to get a little paperwork done. Just wanted to holler at everybody. You know, it's been a uh, interesting week here in, in North Carolina. I got my son in here, man. You might hear him in the background. But it's been an interesting week, man. You know, they have been forecasting this uh, hurricane to hit the area all week down here in North Carolina. So whenever there's uh, natural disasters and things like that in the forecast, a lot of freight becomes available, such as bottled water and paper towels, tissue, you know, things that you may need in an in emergency. And when those things become available, those loads also become very lucrative, you know. It's a lot of uh, bottled water plants here near the Charlotte area, from you know Deer Park to Niagara to Pepsi and their Aquafina, Coca-Cola and their Dasani water. It's, it's it's a lot of water plants around here, and the main thing people need in these disasters is. Uh, bottled water and things, you know, so there's a gazillion loads out here of bottled water shipping all across the state, uh, North and South Carolina, that was supposed to be affected the most, and those loads are paying triple and quadruple, man, <laughs> so, you know, all week, I, you know, I done had my truck and, you know, truck I drive as well as my other drivers picking up water, man, it was good that they all, you know, paid a lot. But it's bad because there's literally a lot of trucks there to pick up loads. So, you know, you might be sitting three, four hours just waiting to get loaded with that heavy ass water. But, you know, at the end of the day, you decide whether it's worth it. And it just so happens this week I had one driver out because his wife just had a baby. And I had another driver that was on vacation on a cruise. Uh, I wonder how his cruise is going, being that the uh, hurricane is out was out in the freaking Atlantic Ocean where he was going, but who knows, he still had time off. So I had all these lucrative loads available and I was down uh, three trucks. So I, you know, I still got one truck empty from the idiot that crashed. Even though that truck has been repaired, I just ain't uh, took the time to interview and hire nobody yet. Been busy. So all these lucrative loads available and I was three down three trucks, but still worked out you know had a lot of people hitting us up this weekend see all my drivers are home on weekends you know I don't I don't like having trucks on the road on the weekend because I don't like working on the weekend and I don't want them calling me needing something on the weekend so best bet for me is to let everybody be off on the weekend you know what I mean but it was so many because the storm was supposed to hit the Charlotte area uh, over the weekend Saturday and Sunday but it was a lot of Loads going out, so you got brokers and shippers calling me. Hey, man, we, you know, you got any trucks available, man? We're desperate, man, you know. I mean, there was loads out here that were from Morrisville, North Carolina, going to Charlotte, North Carolina. We're talking about 20, 25 miles. Be quiet, boy. I got a baby sitting on the floor, and he thinks I'm talking to him. He don't realize I'm talking to a camera. Anyway, so these loads is going 25 miles. And they're paying $2,000. I didn't have a driver available. I'm not calling anybody because I'm greedy on a Saturday. Like, hey, man, you want to you know, wanna make some extra money? Not to mention this adverse weather supposedly, you know, going to hit us. I thought about it. You know, I'm sitting at the crib like, hey, man, should I jump in the truck? I mean, I had like five empty trailers available right now. So technically, I could have just did five loads myself, you know. It's going to take forever to load, so I could have dropped one in the, tra in, in the dock, come back, get another trailer, drop that in the dock. I could have had five trailers in the dock all at once because, you know, our yard is not even 15 minutes from the uh, Mooresville water plant. And it's about 30 minutes from the uh, Lincoln to North Carolina plant. So if I was really a greedy dude, <laughs> I mean, I could have picked up five loads at 2K a pop. I'm talking about 10 grand. For some weekend work, man, but 
Yeah, I don't really, you know, I'm lazy too, man, so I'm not really trying to do it. But I just find it amazing, man, that all this, a lot of them lows was for FEMA, and, you know, there's always certain circumstances, like when Katrina happened, and, uh, well, you know, you had a lot of people raising extra money when everything went down in Houston, but there's always situations where they're claiming that FEMA is running out of money for some of these natural disasters. And I'm like, well, you know, I get it as a trucking company, you want to make as much money as possible, but a lot of these loads are like ridiculously overpriced, you know, <laughs> paying somebody $2,000 to go 25 miles is insane. So I always wondered, because a lot of the stuff is tied to FEMA. I mean, you see a lot of trucks with the FEMA paperwork taped to their windshield to help them bypass scales and all types of mess. And I'm sitting here like, well, if y'all weren't paying quadruple for these loads, you know, maybe FEMA's money wouldn't run out as fast, you know. I can understand paying double. You know, a load normally pay 500 and you like so desperate you pay 1000 for it. But if a load normally from Charlotte to... Mooresville only pays like 400 you know, between 400 and $500. Why are y'all paying people $2,000? I mean, that is totally unnecessary. Yeah, you like it as the truck uh, company or whatever, but just when you think about that, that's actual taxpayer dollars, and there's a chance that, you know, funds end up running out because y'all paying double for water, double for paper towel, double for canned goods, and, you know, Things that people that are displaced may need. It's like the money runs out like this, man, you know. So, but it is what it is. Like I said, man, it's a uh, Hurricane Florence Sunday. It's a football Sunday as my Carolina Panthers take on the, uh, I think we got the Falcons. If it wasn't raining, I might have drove to Atlanta, you know. It's only three and a half, four hours from where I live, but the weather permitted that and I'm home with the kids. I ain't want to drag all the kids down to Atlanta. I'm sure they didn't want to do that. But anyway, man, I just wanted to check in. Man, I hadn't shot a video all week. Been uh, too busy grinding. You know, as the owner, I do just as many loads as my employees. But, uh, you know, football Sunday. Everybody be safe out there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm still trying to blow up. You know, it's only been a couple weeks since I started this channel. Hit your boy up, man. Not the average trucker. Everybody stay safe. Keep trucking. Hammer down.